Hi there, my name is Julie Feifan Balzer and I'm super excited today to share with you Julie's four fabulous techniques for cutting fabric. It's gonna make it easy and perfect every single time. I think you're gonna get a lot out of this one. This is the high tack fabric support sheet and a lot of people don't know what it is but it is the key to cutting fabric. I never cut fabric without it. So it comes in a little roll so you probably recognize it more when it looks like this. And one side is this green backing and the other side, and I pulled apart one of the corners already, has adhesive on one side, high tack adhesive, and no adhesive on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a low tack mat. Now some people say that you should use the standard mat. My personal preference is the low tack mat but you should use whichever mat you prefer. And I'm going to take the non-sticky side of the clear film and I'm going to place it down in the square and you'll see that it should fit kind of perfectly. And if you get it a little bit off, one of the nice things about the low tack mat is you can actually replace it. And you know, put perfection aside here and let's just stick it down. So I'm going to stick it down and I'm going to smooth it out. And if I really, really, really want to smooth it super wicked awesome good, then I'm going to take my spatula tool and I'm going to go ahead and do that so that I make sure all the bubbles are out and it's really, really, really stuck on there. Then I'm going to do something a little bit crazy, but not too crazy, which is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this green sheet. And what you will see is absolutely nothing. Actually, that's not true. But what you can see is that the clear film that was on here, it's now super duper duper sticky. And I can simply put this cover right back onto it and it's ready to have any sort of fabric on it. But how am I to tell the difference between this mat now and any other mat because it looks exactly the same? Well, the answer is easy. Just take a Sharpie and write on it and just say, hey, this is a fabric mat. And then I know my fabric support sheet is on here and I'm ready to go. When I'm cutting cotton weight quilting fabric, I like to go into my settings to adjust them. And with the cut speed, it's naturally set to a three coming out of the factory. And I like to lower that to a one. And one of the ways you can tell that you're in your factory settings or not is obviously there's a black square around anything that's a factory setting. So cut speed at one. Now cut pressure is also another really important one. And again, for a cotton weight quilting fabric, I go all the way up to a five. Now these settings will stay in here permanently until I come back to change them. So that's just something to remember for the next time you're cutting and then I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to check my blade depth. So after I've set my pressure and my speed, I'm going to take the blade out of the holder. Now I do have a little piece of washi tape here on my blade holder just because mine tends to slip and that holds it in place. Now to change the blade depth, I'm simply going to rotate this around. Generally for a cotton weight quilting fabric, I like to have it around a four. I might go as high as a four and a half, but if I get to a five, it probably is an indication that it's time for me to change my blade. And that's a good tip. You know, a lot of sewing machines, people are like, this sewing machine doesn't work. And you tell them, of course, to change their needle and magically it works. And the same thing is true for your scanning cut. If you're finding that your cuts aren't nice anymore, switch up to a new blade. So I have my fabric mat and I'm going to go ahead and pull the dust cover off of that. And then I have this horrible little piece of uh, fabric that has fusible on it. And I'm not going to put it paper side down. I am going to put it paper side up. That is the key to cutting with fusible. Otherwise, it's really hard to get your fusible off the mat. And you can see that I'm just taking a moment to smooth this down, all its little wonky edges. But look how well that fabric, that high tack fabric support sheet that we put onto this mat is holding onto that. Now you can either take the paper off or you can cut it with the paper on, but either way you want that fusible web to be up. So we already talked about how important it is to change your blades, but here's another tip. You have separate scissors for paper and fabric, right? So you should have separate blades for paper and fabric. So you have a couple options. You can either have two blade holders, each one you can just write with a permanent marker, one is P and one is F, or you can do what I do, and these are the little containers that your blades come in. And as you can see, one says P and one says F. And I have a dedicated paper blade and a dedicated fabric blade. And as soon as my fabric blade starts to dull, I just downgrade it to a paper blade. And guess what? It still cuts paper plenty fine. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, I hope you'll visit my blog at balzerdesigns.typepad.com and be sure to check out the Scan and Cut website too at scanandcut.com.